Hello, my name is Noel Luddy and in this video I will talk about bereavement, loss and grief among healthcare workers. Healthcare workers include many different types of staff and workers. They can include people working in the HSE, community healthcare settings, voluntary and private hospitals and services, nursing homes or GP services. Healthcare workers often deal with death and bereavement as part of their job. Working in places where you are exposed to death does not make it easier to manage grief. You may not get used to death and dying, but you can find good ways to cope. We all experience bereavement or the death or loss of someone close to us at some time in our lives. Grief is a natural process of how bereavement and loss can affect us. As a healthcare worker, you might experience a mix of different types of grief. For example, personal grief, when someone in your personal life or community has died. Professional grief, when someone at work has died. This could be a colleague, patient or client. Healthcare settings can be very busy places to work and have been even busier during the pandemic. You may have felt pressure to return to work too soon after bereavement, return to work or continue to work after the death of a work colleague. Looked at or after other people who were grieving before looking after yourself, being isolated from your own friends, family or supports outside work, had no time or space to grieve in your own way, privately or with people close to you. There are two important things to remember about grief. There is no right or wrong way to grieve. It will be different for everyone. Many different things will affect grief after someone dies. For example, the type of relationship you had with the person or the circumstances how they died. There is no time limit to grief. Grief does not come in stages. It will come and go. Some feelings might come occasionally and unexpectedly, while others can be more persistent. Most people experience different feelings in their own way and in their own time. So if you have lost someone close to you, what can you do to help yourself when grieving? Here are some tips. Always be kind and patient with yourself. Remember to take it one day at a time. You might have good days and you might have bad ones too. And that's okay. Always look after your physical and mental health, especially on days that feel more difficult. Get good sleep and regular exercise. Try to keep a healthy diet and avoid alcohol. Plan in advance what you'd like to do around important times like anniversaries, name days, holidays or the person's birthday. Connect with an organisation that offers information, online groups, resources or support. You can find some of these listed on the HSC website at hsc.ie forward slash grief. Talk to your GP or your Workplace Employee Assistance Programme, EAP, if you are worried or if your grief is intense and does not ease over time. It is always important to talk to your healthcare professional if you are worried about your physical or emotional well-being. EAP services provide confidential support for employees on personal and work-related issues. Before finishing, I would also like to share some tips on how you can support other colleagues who are grieving. It can feel difficult or awkward to talk about grief with colleagues. Many people avoid the subject, but remember that a simple and kind approach will help. To support a colleague, you can acknowledge the death and its impact on your colleagues. 
offer them sympathies in person, by phone or a written message. Listen to your colleagues whenever they need it. Offer support in a sensitive way. Find out what resources and support are available in your workplace. If you're not sure how you can help your colleague, ask them. Check in with your colleague again in the future. Sometimes they might need space or privacy at first. Remember that there are lots of helpful information available on bereavement, loss and grief. There is also support if you need it. You can visit hse.ie forward slash grief. Contact the HSE Employee Assistance Programme, EAP. It's a free and confidential independent service. Call 0818-327-327 to speak to someone who can help. Thank you for watching and please share this short video with others who might need it.